it has been over a year, I believe. Maybe even around two years since Dokkan has crossed off an LR on this list. An LR they said will be dropping eventually. And this time, they crossed off a Golden Frieza because VGM... V jump. What the heck is V jump? V jump just um, revealed last night, or basically a few hours ago, that LR Golden Frieza will be arriving on uh, JP Dokkan. Now, this was pretty obvious, if you ask me. Uh, the Dokkan Fest for JP was literally just Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta from Resurrection F. So, Golden Frieza um, was obvious, like to be the part two LR candidate. Not only that, he needs an LR. There is no LR Golden Frieza in the game, but now we have him. This is his SRR, SSR art right here. Pretty freaking clean if you ask me. This is TUR, and then we have his LR art, which in my opinion looks very, very sexy. I cannot wait to see this in game. Now we also have some more information for V-Jump. Uh, we do have the easy A's for these three Vegeta's, which I think is very, very, very good. Just buffing up the Resurrection F, um, you know, core, if you will, but also Realm of Gods and Vegeta's family are getting buffed here. Now, when it comes to this blue Vegeta, if we take a look at his passive skill, he does get attack and defense on super attack. I think if you want to make this guy good, you give him this same exact buff start of turn, then you give him the same exact buff on super attack. He's going to be probably really good after that. And now, obviously like op but he'll he'll with his stat increase and super attack increase starting off with the 80 percent attack and defense and then getting some super attack would probably be really good and then maybe you give him another really powerful effect um like maybe another attack and defense plus 80 percent or maybe even three key uh, i mean I, I wouldn't limit the key to that but you know give him an extra buff when facing extreme class enemies something like that and then maybe make him like stack attack or something like that i think that could make him pretty decent he could also be a pretty decent all types leader. maybe all types three key 100 percent something like that make him somewhat viable uh, but don't please just don't make him bad right make him actually runnable and then we have this physical vegeta here where he seems to be an orb changer so first things first uh please increase the rare chance of stun to a high chance of stun because why not why not make this vegeta a high great chance to stun even like you could have really good utility from this vegeta um he also gets 20 percent attack and defense out of turn that's actually not that great maybe make it like 140 percent attack and defense and then he changes orbs and then maybe he gets like some minor buffs for every orb he collects up to like three or so. so one physical orb collected he gets an extra 20 percent attack and defense two physical orbs he gets he gets like an extra like three key and then three orbs is like all allies three key and like 30 percent attack and defense something like that i don't really know how it would work but again make him or build him off of what he can already do and then last but not least we do have this str god vegeta uh they can make this guy probably hit really really hard so i would say make him stack defense here give him 100 percent attack and defense and then 200 percent attack when performing a super attack um and then all allies or sorry all enemies attack and defense minus 30 percent or something like i do again i don't really know how it would work i'm just trying to build off of what they already do but i want these three vegetas to be good i want them to be runnable in different forms of content like i want one to be good for sbr one to be good for long content one to be good for you know uh, anything else we have in the game to offer so let me know what you guys think about that and we also have the easy which i think i told you guys about this earlier uh for the tech free to play sore bay and uh, golden freezer so my recommendation is to grind up this unit right now if you haven't done so already on top of that get the sa5 copy ready for them to go even if you're on global dokkan because i'm telling you when this comes out to jp you're going to be very happy with yourself if you already have this done so hopefully that makes sense hopefully you enjoyed this very quick video if you did leave a like subscribe if you are new road to 40k by the way and only you can make that possible i will see you in the next one take care and peace